right, so let's say you're interested in adding model photos into your portfolio, something that hasn't been covered or discussed yet. The way you're going to do that is first locate your image, right? And so here is my image right here. And make sure that it's a JPEG format. Um, typically, it will end up as JPEG, um, so you should be fine in that aspect. The next thing that you're going to do is you have an option. You can either bring the photo in in your layout mode or you can bring the photo in here in model space. Either way, it doesn't matter. If you bring it in on the layout, it's just going to go in here and be the image. If you bring it in in model space, you're going to need a viewport in order to see it, correct? And that's typical. So what we'll do next is type in the words in the command line xref. So xref. After you hit enter, it'll bring up this dialog box here where you'll be able to bring in your image. What you need to do first is select the icon here, the drop down, and look for the image option. So attach image. After you've done that, it's going to bring open a folder, locate that image. Here it is right here and hit open. Here you do not need to make any changes. Just simply say OK. And then go ahead and locate where you want to place your image and stretch it out into its respected size. There it is. And that's how you bring images into um, AutoCAD very easily. Um, simply click this button and bring it in. Um, remember though, if you r change the location of your file, let's say, and you don't have the image with that file in the same folder, your image will actually no longer be there, right? So this image has to be tied to the path of where it was saved. Um, so I would put all of your model images in one folder that's the same folder as your portfolio template. So that way all of your information always stays together. Um, once you're done, you can preview it and check to see how it looks and it's not showing up because I have it on a non-printing layer. Let's see here. There we go. And let's try that again. Window. Preview. And there's the image right there. Now notice it does have a black border on it, a borderline. If you do not want that to show up, you have to type in the command line, image frame. And now what it's going to ask you to do is simply select a number. There are three number options, 0, 1, and 2. 0 will, uh, let's actually do each option. So I'm going to set this image frame to 0. Now let's go ahead and print preview again. So see how there is no frame anymore. Right? So setting image frame to zero will hide any fra image frames. Right? I'm going to go back and now I'm going to change it to, so I'm going to redo the command, image, sorry, image frame. I'm going to set it to two. And let's preview that. There it is right there. Um, notice that it also does not have a frame, right? Now the major difference between zero and two is actually here in the layout mode. Does everybody see the red line that exists here? So that's that same frame, right? It, in option two, it will show the frame here in layout, but it will not show the frame when printing. And um, when you do image frame, and you set it to zero, notice that that image frame disappears. So it's gone completely from sight, okay? And the last one is image frame. And if you select one, there's that frame back again. But when you print, it also shows the frame. So my suggestion is to do image frame and select 
two as your option. What that's going to do is provide you with the frame so that way you can still change and edit the size of it. At least you should be able to. I believe you have to use scale in order to change the size of it. Yeah. There we go. Um, but when you preview, it won't be there. right? So make sure to set that up and it's image frame and then select the option number two. Um, when you click on an image, it will give you some options here to change it. Some things that you can do is change how bright the image is, right, and how dark it is. So you have a little bit of flexibility here. You can also adjust the contrast of your image as well. And you can also fade your image, which would make it more transparent. Um, you shouldn't need to deal with any of this stuff, but you might want to change some of it. Um, it's up to you. But once you have it placed, um, it's already in there, and that's basically the extent of bringing an image into your portfolio.